Welcome to Engineering Numerical Methods, Module Number Three: Interpolation and Curve Fitting. So we have three parts of this module: Introduction, Polynomial Interpolation using Newton's Method, and Curve Fitting using Least Squares. So in the introduction, we have this uh, statement. Given n plus 1 data points, x and y coordinates from 0 to n number, estimate y of x. So basically, we have this very simple idea that uh, y is equal to the function of x. And then, um, given a certain point, let's say you have these two points. can construct uh, two sets, you can do like this, or you can do maybe like this, okay? So this is what we call the estimation. So meaning, given the three points, we can estimate, assuming this is x and y, given the three points, you can actually estimate the certain value x1. So what will be your y1? So if this is your line here, so your y1, there's a corresponding y1. Okay? Or if you have x2 here, so your y2 will be at this point. Okay? So basically, given three sets, uh, three points or a certain number of points, you can predict your y value. You can construct a function to solve a certain estimation problem. So data are generated either by experimental observations or numerical computations. Interpolation is a process of constructing a best fit curve through the data points, while curve fitting is finding a smooth curve that best approximates a noisy data. So, meaning, interpolation should pass through all the data points, while curve fitting does not need to. So, this is an example of an interpolation. Okay? So, you construct a line. In this case, we have a quadratic uh, function that does not necessarily passes through all points. So while curve fitting, you can see here, curve fitting follows a, uh, should pass through all the points. Okay, so that's the introduction. So given certain data points, you can estimate the future or you can estimate, you can create a function that can estimate any value of x.